looks like we are doing Laurier's, um... Oh! <laughs> Jazz! Turn up the voice a little bit. Turn up their voices? Okay. Their voices. Their voices? Okay. Hopefully that's better. Um, so, interesting, Jazz set up, uh... <laughs> Jazz set up our, um... Our table here. Oh. Do I have a book? Yep. Looks I like got an H10O? <laughs> <laughs> I wish I can read that. I fucking love you, Jess! <laughs> <laughs> and I got a sleeping mask, apparently. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Um, so, Wait, what, is, uh, what does Nick have? A knife. He's got a knife. <laughs> oh, of okay. Course. I, was at, I was looking at the moon icon, and I was like, what's in, what's uh, in the moon? But I didn't see the knife until now. It's time for murder! <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> you weren't supposed to see the knife. <laughs> um, Alright, so we're going with Laurier. This way to your table. Here's the menu. My recommendation? Hmm. How about this tea blend? I recommend pairing it with a sandwich. An egg sandwich and an Earl Grey? Of course. May I take your menu? Thank you. <laughs> what? Why are you all looking at me? I'm just kind of surprised at how good you are at customer service. Indeed. One would not expect it from your usual demeanor. Guess we can leave the customers in Laurier's paws. It seems so. Well then, I will leave it to Laurier and Dill. Me? Yes, you. You did very well in your practice sessions. While I, I have not known you long, it's clear that you keep a watchful eye on your surroundings. Such cat boys are well suited to customer service. Gee, Fennel. Okay, I'll take care of the customers. Which leaves me, Fennel, and the mistress to man the kitchen. Since you are the owner, you will be in charge of everything from the kitchen to customers to the back end tax. You're not sure you can handle it all? That's why I'm here. If there is anything you are unsure of, please come to me. I will show you the ropes until you can do it on your own. Looks like we have another customer. I've got this one. May have the ticket, Laurier. Here. One egg sandwich, one Earl Grey tea. Sage and I will take care of the food, so could you please handle the drink? That's what I like to hear. Now, let's do our best. Whoa, Carla subscribed! Thank you Yay. so much, Carla! Woo! Just love, Carla! Tonight your star shines brighter. Murder is pleasant. <laughs> Apologies for the wait. One egg sandwich and one early gray tea. <laughs> My hair is pretty? <laughs> Thank you for the compliment. I quite like the color myself, so I'm happy to hear that from you. Yes, I work here every day. We're open, so feel free to stop by any time you want to see me. You'd like to order something else? A dessert for after the meal. <clears throat> One creme caramel. Of course. Laurier! Perfect timing. I just got an order from it for a creme caramel. Can you take it over to them when it's ready? Um, sure, but I think they'd prefer if you brought it. They've totally got your eye on you. See? They're staring at you right now. If you want to keep someone's interest, you have to pull back from time to time. Is that how it works? He's a natural cat. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Aren't you supposed to be in the kitchen? The manager has to be able to serve customers as well? Oh yeah, Fennel did say that, didn't he? Yep. Yep, things are going pretty well out here. Laurier's super popular with the ladies. He's just got an extra order. I can charm anyone, man or woman, young or old. <laughs> 
You are very pretty, Laurier. Thank you. You think so too? That makes me kind of jelly. Jelly. No one can resist my good looks. And that goes for you too, right? I'm gonna take that as a yes. <laughs> Just kidding. It's fun to tease you. You're my kind of human. Don't put her on the spot like that! <laughs> now I understand why Fennel is on the alert. I'll take this customer. Dill can handle the bill. You can clear the table over there. Okay. Watch your back. <laughs> Apologies for the wait. May I take your order? Oh, who wants to be the young man? Uh, I guess I can. I'd like a coffee, please. Would you like a regular coffee or an Americano? Americano Ameri costs 50, 50 yen less. My bad. <laughs> wow, I'm surprised you knew that, Mr. Customer. Oh, great minds think alike. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll go with the Americano. Understood. One Americano. Got another order. One Americano. <clears throat> I'll brew it. I'll brew it now. Laurier, please take this uh, omu rice to table two. Table two. On my way. Apologies for the wait. Here's your omu rice. Will that be everything? Enjoy your meal. Yes, I'll be right. Uh, you finished clearing the table? Hmm, you want to serve that customer? Because taking orders is essentially is essential if you're gonna become a full-fledged cafe manager. You don't need to, I can do that all for you. Huh. Can't always rely on me? Your dedication is actually kind of impressive. Uh-oh, another customer's calling for me. See you in a bit. Ooh, the father. Uh, Brandon, you want to be father? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll have the hamburger steak and the kids meal, please. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, boy. And a toy. I want a toy. Hey, now. Don't be rude. <laughs> Peter! <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you sure? Thank you. Come on, say thank you. Thank you! Splendid. I shall bring your order to the kitchen. One hamburger steak and one kid's meal, please. On it! What's this? It says toy here. What is this, a McDonald's? Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Hmm, the child wanted a toy and you, oh no. Acquiesced. Acquiesced? Oh no, you needn't apologize. It was indeed a rather foolish decision, but I can see that you regret it. Please be more careful from now on. That said, we need to find a toy. Damn, that's some good customer service. What's up? Is there a problem? We are apparently providing a toy for one of the customers. I will go... I will look... Uh, take two. I will go look in some of the nearby stores. Might I leave the kitchen to you? I can provide a toy. Oh, jeez. I do <laughs> hope you don't mean a cat toy. Like I carry that... Like I carry stuff like that around. I'm not a kitten. Well, if you're serious, but how? Where do you keep paper napkins? In the cabinet? What are you going to do with that napkin? Watch and learn. Fold this here and done. Yeah, it's a crown. This should put a smile on the kid's face, right? Hmm. Turning a paper napkin into a crown. You have quite the imagination. Hamburger steak and the kids meal are ready. Chop chop, the customers are waiting.
Daddy, our food is here. Yeah, looks good, doesn't it? <laughs> Yours looks yummy too. Well then, how about we share? Yeah. Oh, my toy. Look, Daddy, I got a toy. Wow, a napkin crown. Very skillfully made. Thank you so much. I'll take good care of it. I'm glad he likes it. All thanks to your quick wittedness, Laurier. With this and your work setting up the cash register, I'm very impressed. Keep it up. <laughs> Guess I can do a thing or two when I'm feeling it. One sandwich assortment, one ham sandwich, and two regular coffees after the meal for table six. And the customers at table two are leaving, so if someone could ring them up, that'd be great. More customers! Oh dear, looks like the rush has started. Phew! I'm exhausted. Good work. Same to you! Oh, and you too, mistress. Yep, I'm also beat. We worked all day without a break. Great work today, everyone. Man, really worked my tail off. We've had our whiskers to the grindstone. It all just goes to show how well the cafe is doing. It's wonderful that we welcomed so many customers on our first day. Uh, yes, we are on Lori's route right now. It is thanks to the mistress's uh, promotional activities, and... We have to thank you too, Laurier. Me? Yes, between orders, I checked the cafe's rating online. There were many comments about the excellent customer service, with many in particular praising a certain staff member with beautiful white hair. It seems a number of customers stopped by just to see Laurier. I suppose he does have very pretty hair, even as a fellow cat boy. Yep, mine's really unruly, so I'm kind of jelly. Hey, what shampoo and conditioner do you use? L'Oreal. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Just whatever's on hand. I don't really pay much attention. Cut to credits. Cut to credits. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yet, it looks so silky. You've touched it, and it really is as soft as it looks? Oh, yeah. You petted him on the head before. Hmm? My hair is nice and fluffy? Thanks! Nah. The customers are all gone, so we're free to take a break, right? <sighs> I'd prefer if he didn't fall asleep before I've actually given permission, but since he worked so hard today, I'll let him off. Just this once. I'll set out the back in 15 minute sign, so you should all take this opportunity to rest. Uh, it's already 2 o'clock. We haven't had lunch yet, so I'll whip something up. I'll help. How about you? Okay, we can all. <laughs> Laurier's got you by the sleeve. You're sorry? No, don't worry about it. We'll take care of lunch. Why'd you jump all of a sudden? Something tickled your back and it startled you? Must have been your imagination. Ah. Where's Sage and Dill? The kitchen? Oh, right. We haven't had lunch yet. Come on, I won't bite. That's it. Stay right there and don't move. Nah. Laurier is sleeping on you again? He does look peaceful, doesn't he? He must feel very comfortable around you. What's that? No, I'm not going to wake him. 
It may be uncomfortable for you, but please endure it until he wakes up. Hmm, actually, I don't see Sage or Dill anywhere. Oh, they are in the kitchen? Then I shall go lend a paw. Oh, CG. It's finally quiet. Hmm? Yeah, I'm asleep. My eyes are closed, aren't they? Cat boys are cursed with keen hearing, so I hear things even when I'd rather not. Am I doing this because I feel comfortable around you? Yeah, I feel comfy. Hey, you know cat boys sleep a lot, right? That doesn't mean we sleep soundly, though. Since we're half awake the whole time, the slightest noise can wake us fully. Hmm? I didn't wake up when you slipped out of bed? Just goes to show how soundly I sleep around you. Sleep is essential for a cat boy, so you'll need to... So you'll need... Oh, sorry. So you'll keep sleeping beside me, right? We're back! Oh! Fennel's cooking his specialty, so I bet it's gonna be tasty. Come on, Laurier! Wake up! Ah, so noisy. <laughs> Sorry, but you two should eat lunch, or you'll have no energy for later. The soup is ready, too. Wow, smells amazing. I bet it'll be just as yummy. Is everyone sitting down? Okay, let's put our hands together and... Thanks for the food. Thanks, Thanks for, the food. for the food. Hmm? Why is my soup cold? You said you have trouble with hot liquid, so I made a chilled version just for you. Oh, whoa. Thanks. Mm, so creamy and delicious. You use some really good prosciutto, huh? We still have a few minutes, so please take your time. <laughs> that was great. That was, that was great. great. <laughs> I'm stuffed. Here's your post meal coffee. Coffee, huh? You don't like coffee? Nah, I don't see how anyone can drink it black. Black is best. In my opinion, adding milk and sugar is close to heresy. <laughs> you just drink it down as it is, do you? I don't really like it black either. I can drink it black, but I like it with milk and sugar sometimes too. So I ain't judging. How about you? You must be on my side, yes? Why are you avoiding my gaze? Look me in the eye and answer. Now, now, Fennel. What's up, Laurier? <sighs> What's he going to the kitchen for? Maybe he's getting himself some milk and sugar? Oh, then I want some too! Huh? He's back already. Which do you prefer, sandwiches or scones? Sandwiches, huh? Off he goes again. What was that all about? Hmm. Maybe he's going to make her a sandwich. Huh? But we all just had that pasta. <laughs> I could eat another helping. Your coffee is getting cold. Coffee is best when it's freshly brewed. The acidity increases as it cools, and it becomes less flavorsome. I see you aren't drinking yours either. Is it too hot? No? Okay then. Open your mouth. Excellent. Keep going like that and drink the whole thing. It's so bitter! My poor tongue! Ouch! 
You okay? I'll go grab some milk from the kitchen. Whoa, Laurier, back at last. Hmm? I smell some fragrant black tea. Yeah, I went to brew some. Darjeeling, of course. Hmm? You want some too? I can brew something special for you. That's not it. You want to know why I've made tea and sandwiches? Because there's no way I'm drinking black coffee. And the sandwiches are because you said you preferred them to scones, remember? Although, I guess they're kind of heavy to have for dessert. Uh, don't you usually have something sweet for dessert? I'm not in the mood for anything sweet. Something sweet would be perfect right now. What's up, Dill? He's mewing like a kitten. It's because he forced himself to down his entire cup of coffee. Do you want a sandwich as a palate cleanser? You okay with that, Laurier? Sure. All right. Say, uh... <laughs> Dill? You okay? Hey, what's wrong? Get a hold of yourself. Don't shake him like that, Sage. You could worsen his symptoms. Are you alright, Dill? Oh dear, he's groaning. Must have eaten one of my sandwiches. You poisoned my fucking food! <laughs> <laughs> I was the murderer all <laughs> along! I, we, I, we had to take care of this. <laughs> you put, you played that Una reverse card on me, shit! This had the decision we all had to make for our benefit. <laughs> we drew straws, Fennel got the short end, we had to do it. It happened after he ate that sandwich. What on earth did you put in there, Laurier? Microwave Doritos. <laughs> that explains everything. <laughs> Just regular sandwich fillings. Hmm. There doesn't look to be anything wrong with it, but... Huh? <clears throat> oh, you all right, Fennel? Yes, just about. But I have to say, I've never eaten a sandwich quite so unpleasant as this. Ouch. That bad? Yes, I understand poor Dill's distress. If I had taken as a big a bite as him, I'm sure I would be in much the same state. You're both exaggerating. Hmm, this is actually making me kind of curious. Please don't. You'll only regret it. <laughs> don't look so grim. It'd be a shame to waste it when he's gone to the effort of making it. I'm still dying. <laughs> <laughs> That may be so, but, well, I suppose it would be dangerous to try and repurpose it. Suit yourself. It sounds to me like you're treating my food as some kind of hazardous material. Why don't you try it for yourself? It might help you understand why we're, where we're coming from. I'm already full, so I'll pass. Okay, he poisoned it for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you made it for dessert. Yeah, I did. She's the one who requested it, so she can eat it. You'll pass too? Oh, come on. Surely you... surely you still have some room for dessert. Please don't pressure her to eat it. If she collapses, it will greatly interfere with our work. Hey, Dill! You're back with us. It... yeah. I remember eating something really intense, and, and I guess I I passed out. Hey, don't eat that! Absolutely not! You, you didn't take a bite yet. Yeah, I saw my nine lives flash before my eyes, and I thought 
This might be it for old Dill. <laughs> <laughs> It was that bad? Laurier's cooking is truly fearsome. Laurier, we will have you exclusively work out front from here on. <laughs> Ouch. How are you feeling, Dill? I'm not quite back to normal yet, but I think I could still work. I saw a bright light. <laughs> hmm. After the break, Sage, Dill, and the mistress can work in the kitchen. Laurier and I will serve the customers. But... Don't worry. I will fulfill my customer service duties perfectly. Think you can handle the drinks, Dill? That shouldn't be too hard on you. Oh, you guys. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome. I'll show you to your table. Here's the menu. Are you ready to order? One fruit... Uh, a uh, fruit parfait, yes? Of course. May I clear away your plate? Thank you. Your dessert and coffee will be ready shortly. Hey, Fennel. Is something the matter? You look awfully pale. Probably ate a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Could you take this fruit parfait over to table four? I can. Then would you take this dessert and coffee over to table set? I can't do that either. I can't take yours if you can't take mine. <sighs> What's the dessert? Um. She fun. Chiffon kick. Better than fruit parfait. Okay, I'll take it. Table seven, was it? Yes, and the coffee too, please. Here we go. Wow, it came out of the mold perfectly. Mm. Smells sweet. Indeed. It looks lovely too. Oh, hi Fennel. Hi Laurier. You both have orders? Yes, one fruit parfait for table four. Gotcha. Oh, the chiffon cake is ready. So, could you take this out to table seven? Okay. Huh? I thought Fennel was their server. Laurier asked me to switch with him. Huh? You think he's acting strangely? Actually, now that you mention it, he switched with me for the cr uh, the cream caramel or the, the, the cream caramel order too. Do you think he has an issue with sweet things? He did brush off the idea of dessert earlier, so maybe. Hmm. I knew he couldn't handle spicy foods, but he didn't mention anything about sweets. Well, never mind. I'll leave you to make that fruit parfait. Yeah, I'm on it. Thank you very much. Please come again. I've finished clearing up here. Hmm, it's ten minutes to closing time, so we may as well start closing up now. Could you go and get the others from the kitchen, please? Sure. Closing time? Closing time? Already? Man, we've been so busy, the time just flew by. Okay, now that everyone's here, I'd like to thank you for your excellent work today. Despite it being our first day, we welcomed a great many customers to the cafe. Let's keep this momentum going tomorrow, too. Wow, this was all on the first day. Sure. Heck yeah! Hey. I feel like it's been ages, like not just one day, but like yeah, <laughs> like a full I, week I, or something. We might be caught in a time loop. <laughs> <laughs> we might be. Uh... <clears throat> now then, there is still work to be done after, or even after closing. We need to clean the kitchen, the interior, and the exterior, and then cash out. 
Whiskers to the grindstone, I tell ya. I don't want to hear any complaints. If you work hard, there may be a treat in it in store. A treat? Oh, I wonder what it is. Oh, I bet I know. The treat's a head pet from our mistress, right? <laughs> that doesn't cut it. She at least has to let us lay our heads in her lap, too. All of us? That'd be a pain for her, don't you think? I'm fine with just a head pat. Oh, but I really like it if you scratch behind my ears at the same time. I wouldn't ask our mistress to provide the treats when she's already worn out, too. Really? Hmm. I don't know what else it could be, though. I give up. Tell me. Wait one moment. A box? I smell cream and sponge cake. Is it a Swiss roll? <laughs> Correct. Since we had four slices of Swiss roll left over, I thought we could share them as a reward. Yay! I'm a big fan of cake, so I'm thrilled. A slice each for Sage, Dill, our mistress, and myself. Perfect. Oh, you like sweet things, Fennel? Somehow, I figured you wouldn't. I don't particularly enjoy them, but I don't dislike them. <sighs> huh. If there are only four slices, what about Laurier? He doesn't seem to like sweets. Having said that, this leaves one of us without a treat. What ingredients do we have left over? Hmm. I think I can whip up a sandwich. Would that suit you? Uh. Well? Uh, I'll go sweep outside. Oh, he's gone. I may have committed a faux pas. What's that? Yes, good idea. It would be most helpful if you go check on him. <sighs> oh, it's you. What's up? Shouldn't you be eating, a uh, cake with the others? You were worried about me? You're a very caring mistress. Yeah, like you said, I don't like sweet things. I don't even like to say their names or look at them. And if a dessert actually passed my lips... Anyway, it wouldn't be good. My, hmm? my reaction just now seemed more delighted than disgusted. Uh, you've got the wrong idea. Anyway, since you're here, you might as well help me clean up. Oh? Okay, could you uh, grab the sign? That's me, not the sign. Uh, since I was the only one without a treat, I get a head pat? This is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I assume you'll throw in on a, I assume you'll throw in a lap pillow too, right? <laughs> Just kidding. If we sat down here, our clothes would get all dirty. Thanks, mistress. Did they just leave us at the shop? <laughs> <laughs> See you guys later. I'm going to sleep. The lights. <laughs> There's no one here. Okay, no one's here. Oh, what's that? Oh, a slice of Swiss roll. <laughs> Is this hers? It'd be wrong to eat it. Mm. But maybe just a taste. Mm. 
<laughs> it's more than just a taste. He's just like scarf in his face. Mwah. Who is it? Well, it's you. Uh, hello. Wait, wait a minute. I'm, I'm almost done. <laughs> I hate it here. Oh, I've, I've got cream on my pinky. <laughs> I hate this so much. Why are you staring at me, mistress? Oh my god. May I have cream on me? <laughs> I, this was, this was, I was not expecting this at all. Mm, so sweet. Thank you for tweeting me. <laughs> mm? Who am I? It's me, Loye. It's his final form. <laughs> yeah. Did you forget about me? You never forget about me? But I'm acting really different? <laughs> My god! Um, I, I don't think so I am. Much. I'm always like this. Huh? How old am I? Mm, let me think. <laughs> I don't know, I'm still a kitten. Pet me, pet me, I love being petted. What's wrong? You look really surprised. Wait here, Mora? Okay, I'm waiting. I hope she's getting everyone. <laughs> hmm? While I'm waiting, I can eat the rest? Yay! Oh, yum, 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 yum. <laughs> mm, no more? Oh, you like sweeties too? Yay! Come over here! Come <laughs> closer. <like> drunk. <laughs> Let me reach your face. Oh, you such a meanie. Why you push me? Because <laughs> I suddenly tried to kiss you? I wasn't a kiss. I was shying. Yep, you like sweeties too, don't you? But I ate the whole spicy cake, so I thought I could share a whiff of a smooch. You appreciate it, but you don't want the kissy? Mm, I don't know what the problem is. Mwah. Your tummy is full? Okay, so I guess that's why you don't want it. Mwah. My tummy's full too. I'm sleepy. I have to brush my teeth after eating sweets? Oh, but I hate brushing teeth. What? If I don't brush my teeth, my teeth will get holes? And then I'll have to go to the dentist? The dentist is scary. Okay, I'll brush my teeth really good. <laughs> I got called a good boy, yay! <laughs> You're so nice. I love you. Do you love me too? Yay! Yeah. Oh, I'm so sad the guys are missing this. <laughs> what? Why is your face all red? Because I hugged you? Hmm. Did hugging make you go red like a tomato? Hey, is my face red too? Am I a tomato widow? Ah, you're so weird, tomato face. This is the biggest 180 ever. <laughs> yeah, this really turned the trope on its head. <laughs> <laughs> Morning already? Uh, I'm sore all over. I'm not in bed. What am I doing in the kitchen? He's just covered in crumbs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh right. Last night I last night I ate that Swiss roll, then fell right asleep because I was so full. Hmm. Morning. Hey. You just took a pretty hard knock to the head. You okay? It 
hurt a bit, but you don't think it broke the skin? Let me see. You'll end up hurting yourself if you'll end up hurting yourself if you're always this jumpy. <laughs> Guess you remember last night, huh? Hmm. What was up with that? What was up with that? Uh, I guess you were going to find out sooner or later, so I might as well tell you. Cat boys get really excited when we come close to our favorite things or when we eat our favorite foods. Yeah, we're pretty much like regular cats in that regard. Our tail swishes, we chow down happily, or in my case, I get so overexcited I regress back to being a kitten. You don't seem surprised? I guess because you already saw it happen. I don't know why it happens either. Other cat boys don't react like I do, so I guess I'm a special case. There's no way for me to control it, so I just do my best to steer clear of the stuff I love. But when I smell the desserts and the customers... Uh, I, when I, but when I smell the desserts the customers eat or I see them in the kitchen, I just want to gobble them all up. Last night I couldn't take it anymore, so I sneaked into the kitchen and ate that Swiss roll. I wasn't expecting you to show up, though. What's that? I should tell the others, too? Yes. <laughs> no way. I think that they'd be fine with it, but still. Put yourself in my shoes. Would you want to tell them? Hey, so when I eat sweet things, I regress to being a kitten? Right? It's humiliating. So, I'd rather keep it to myself. And now you know my most embarrassing secret, which means I absolutely have to become your house cat. Dill? Why would you bring up his name? Oh, yeah, he's the one who said we could all become your house cats. I bet you're wondering if you could take us all in too, aren't you? Bingo, huh? There are people out there with multiple house cats, so I think you could do it. Then you want to take us all in? Doesn't sound like you're aware of the risks that come with that. Cat boys are jealous creatures. We get annoyed when you're giving attention to others. And then we do stuff like sidling up to you and mewing excuse me, mewing for your attention. <laughs> and sometimes we give you a little bite, like that, to get you to focus on us. Hmm? What's up? You look like you're about to faint. You don't want to make me jealous? You don't know if your heart can take it? Then just make me your house cat. Pick me over them and lavish all your attention on me. So, what'll it be, mistress? Looks like we have company. Hmm, what to make for break? Huh? Laurier and the mistress? What are you two doing here? Nothing. Great timing. Not. Ah, I'm going to bed. Bed? Wait, did you sleep down here last night? Mm, he's gone. Hey, how long have you been up? Hello? Are you listening? Ha! Ah, your head's finally out of the clouds. What's on your mind? Um... So I was just asking... Huh? What's that? The memory's making you wish the ground would swallow you up? Hmm. I'm sure something happened between her and Laurier, but if I ask her straight up, she might freak out even more. I really want to know, but probably best not to push it. Hey, so what do you want for breakfast today? 
How about scrambled eggs? Look, we have tons of eggs. Huh? Hmm. I'm sure there was a Swiss roll in here when I looked yesterday. I wonder what happened to it. Huh? You got hungry during the night and had it for midnight snack? Oh, yeah. I totally get that. <laughs> Why are you apologizing? You're the one who brought it home. So, it was yours to eat. Okie dokie. Let's get started on those scrambled eggs. You want to help? Thanks. Let's whip up a yummy breakfast together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can taste something sweet. Yes. Sweet? <laughs> Whoa, raid. Uh, Amtrax, Amtrax. Well, thank you for the raid, Austin. Welcome to the stream. <sighs> No one saw that. Oh yeah, I didn't brush my teeth in the end. That must be why I can still taste the sugar. <gasps> oh, you're up already? Quite early for you. Uh, I'm just heading back to bed. Please don't. It's morning now, and we have to open the cafe. Mm -hmm. The heck? You're not usually one for catboy greetings. Sorry, I smell something sweet emanating from you, so I couldn't help myself. Uh, something sweet? Meow. <laughs> <laughs> uh. hmm. Aha! I see! You challenge yourself to eat something sweet in order to overcome your aver aversion. I'm very impressed by your willpower. I must endeavor to learn from your example. <sighs> mm. I thought you didn't have any foods you disliked. Oh. Please keep this to yourself. Everyone has a thing or two they can't handle. You don't need to keep it a secret. Indeed. However, when faced with my particular poison, I react similarly to how you just did. I am persevering to try and overcome it, but, well, it has been quite the challenge. So let's both do our best. Ah, uh, sure. Now then, if you'll excuse me. Vandal has something he goes over gaga over too, huh? I regress to a kitten-like state when I eat my favorite foods. But Fennel was completely normal when he ate that cream cheese and prosciutto pasta. Does that mean there's something he likes even more? Well, no point in trying to guess. More importantly, it's time to sleep. <sighs> Done. Okie dokie. That should be enough for everyone. Better go call them. Mmm, something smells great. Might it be scrambled eggs? A true star of the breakfast table. Hey, Sage. Hey, Fennel. <laughs> great timing. Hmm. Is Laurier still in his room? You think he's probably in yours? Could you go get him? We'll wait for you both. No. 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 Where am I? Hmm. What? What are you doing here? And what are you doing on the floor? Uh, you were trying to wake me and I struck out at you? Uh, sorry about that. You hurt? Uh, that's good. Uh, your arm's scratched. Uh, bring it here. I'll lick it to make it better. It won't help if you're struggling. 
That should do it. If I'm done, could I let you go? Or, yeah, maybe I should ask for your answer to the big question. You know what I mean, about whether you'll take me as your sole house cat. Let's hear it. Laurier, you up yet? Laurier, breakfast's ready. Gotta start the day with a hearty meal. Indeed, eating breakfast is the foundation for a good day at work. <laughs> Foiled again. Do they have a sixth sense? Is no one in there? But I'm sure she said she would be here too. Hey, is Laurier in there with you? He is? Can I come in? Okay, I'm opening the door. Laurier, breakfast is... Hey. Why are you holding her hand? Hmm. There's a scratch on your arm. Is that Laurier's doing? I guess he must have been licking it so it'd heal. I see. He was just lit. Wait. What? Despite my calm exterior, I must admit too, or I must admit I too find this situation rather alarming. Yeah, this is a big deal. Hell, I'm cool with it. What's the problem? <laughs> <laughs> Cat boys lick injuries to make them better, don't we? That in itself is not a problem. However, at this rate, Laurier is going to make himself her house cat. Yeah, exactly. He's sleeping in a room, so he's already closest to her, which means we'll be abandoned. Easy, Dill. <laughs> no. Not the A word. <laughs> <laughs> what? You wouldn't do something so cruel? If we're happy to be here, you want us to keep working here for as long as we like? And as long as he lives? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want to stay here forever. Yeah, me too. We are still inexperienced when it comes to cafe management, so of course I should like to continue coaching you until you know what you're doing. <sighs> If you guys want to be her employees, I guess that means I can be her only house cat. What was that? How are you doing on how are we doing on time? Indeed, we need to hurry up and eat our breakfast, or we'll be late in opening the cafe. Now that Laurier is awake, let's all return to the living room. Are we joining them? Your answer? Yeah, you can tell me later. Judging from your reactions, it's clear I'm the favorite, so I don't think there's any rush. But catboys are finicky things, you know? Who knows when something else might strike our fancy? So you'd best make up your mind as quickly as possible, mistress. I think that's the end wow. of the Laurier route. Yay! Whoa. What Dang, a twist. That, yeah, that was... <laughs> How John, do you see that coming? <laughs> props to John for that. That was awesome. Thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> that was fun. This explains so much about your John, I will Venmo you ten dollars <laughs> if you talk to Jazz like that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're going to the last character, Sage, right? Yep. Yeah. Alright. Let's and go. The secret boss fight. Hmm? You'd like to work in the kitchen? I'll help out too. Okay, you and Sage will be in the kitchen, while the rest of us will serve the customers. I'll handle the customers who just came in. Welcome. I'll show you to your seat. Our promotional efforts appear to be paying off. We may be quite busy today, so let's all do our best. Alright, we'll head to the kitchen. We've got an order. A fruit parfait for table one. Hmm. You want to make it? It's all yours. 
I have an order. One iced coffee for table seven. You focus on that and leave this one to me. You're done? Whoa. That looks like one delicious parfait. And I want to try it. Yeah, like I said before, I'm a sucker for anything sweet. People always say it doesn't suit me. You disagree? Thanks, I appreciate that. Hmm, you messed up the parfait, so I'm free to taste it? Uh-huh, looks like you heaped on too much ice cream and it, fell it all fell apart. Well, don't mind if I do. Tastes great! <laughs> Here, you have some too. Say, ah. Uh... <laughs> Don't be shy, it's just you and me here. Yeah, I guess I did say the same thing before, huh? You ran away. It's not just because you're worried about being seen, now, is it? Eating is for little kids. Hmm, so that's how it is, huh? Why am I doting on you? Well, I guess because I see you like a little sister or something. Nah, I don't have a real one. It's just that when I look at you, I figure what I feel is kind of like... I figure what I feel is kind of like what a big brother would. If it bugs you, I'll stop. But if it doesn't, I'd be totally happy to if you'd let me dote on you. It doesn't bug you. it doesn't bug you, but you're just not used to it. Makes sense. Good girl. <laughs> I can see it's gonna take you some getting used to. You look totally uncomfortable. Your hair's so silky and you don't have any split ends. You must take real good care of it. Running my fingers through it feels so nice. Hey guys! You ready with that fruit parfait yet? <laughs> what are you doing to her? <laughs> As you can see, I'm giving her a head. I'm giving her. <laughs> oh, <laughs> whoa, whoa. As you can see. Uh, not safe for work. Uh, As you can see, I'm giving her head a real good pet. You're doing what? <laughs> and how did you end up doing that? Hmm? So Sage wanted to dote on you, and you gave him the green light? Mm-hmm. I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> you sure look pleased with yourself, Sage. Well, cat boys will be cat boys. Personally, I prefer to be petted to doing the petting. What are you all doing in here? Metal! Um, we were just... Don't worry, I'm not angry at you, Dill. As for the two of you, what could be more important than working right now? Head pats. I was just petting. I wasn't asking for an explanation. If you're slacking off in here, I'll send you out front instead. My bad. It's my fault, so don't blame her. Oh, we got the oo woo. Thank you so much, oh Nella. <laughs> <laughs> Best $20 ever spent. <laughs> Uh, oh, did you read this line, Brandon? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh. It's your fault, too, for not putting a stop to it. Nah, I'm the one who wanted... Okay, that's enough. Now, have you prepared the orders? Prep to perfection. Whoa! Uh-oh. We let it sit for too long, and now the ice cream's melted. 
Ah, uh, well, we can't serve this to the customers now, can we? How do we make it right now? You'll help him? And no more interruptions? Okay then, I shall take you both at your word. I'll go make sure the customers don't revolt. Sorry for the trouble. Uh, please make me a ham sandwich and a coffee while you're at it. On it! Okay, time for a do-over. Oh wow, Carly gifted a sub to Nick! Hey! hey. That, now Thanks, you know Kawa. what that means, John! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Kawa, for gifting a sub! <laughs> I guess that's gonna happen all night. <laughs> Anybody who wants an uwu message? Thank you for coming. We hope to see you again soon. Phew. What's up? All tuckered out? Yeah. There have just been constant waves of customers with no time for a break. Still... We're doing awesome for our first day, don't you think? Indeed. It has been a very smooth start. Great work out there, Fennel. Man, you look beat. Why don't you go ahead and take a break? Leave the rest to me. Don't patronize me. Mm, you're strict on us, but it's really helpful. As the manager, she needs to be comfortable with serving customers, as well as working in the kitchen. Right, so that's why that's why you had her take over for me. You're still inexperienced, but you show a lot of promise. The most important thing is to keep going forward with the same level of, of enthusiasm you have shown today. That's what I like to hear. Now, there are many other responsibilities that fall under the manager's uh, purview. For example, cleaning the store after closing. Today, you can take care of cleaning the exterior. Can I help her? Yes, if you would. Please put away the sign so she doesn't have to carry it by herself. On it. <sighs> Laurier. You know... Laurier worked really hard out front today, so, er, worked out front today too, so, maybe we should just let him have his beauty sleep. Hmm, that's right. Keep talking, Dill. <laughs> <laughs> Please stop pretending to sleep. Laurier, you can wipe down the tables while I clean the rest of the interior. Dill will clean the kitchen. Why do I have to be with you? so I can make sure you're not slacking off. You don't trust me? <laughs> yeah, I found something that did the trick. That's my handkerchief! <laughs> you're really putting your back into it. Yeah, Fennel asked me to help you out here to... Asked me to help you out here, too. Here we go. Ugh. Nah, it's light as a feather. See, I can carry it, I can carry it with one hand. <laughs> really not that impressive, but I'll take the compliment. Hmm, what's going on in there? Did someone spot a mouse or something? <laughs> it's an all-out brawl. They're <laughs> just punching oh. each other out in there. <laughs> <laughs> A mouse. Whoops. <laughs> Let my inner mouser, mouser slip out for a sec there. Oh, oh my. cat that chases mice. Yeah. I think so, yeah. A cat boy carefully watches his prey. Then he strikes like lightning. Here, let me show you. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Do we eat what we catch? No, we just let him go. Be free, little butterfly. 
butterfly. <laughs> it moved so fast that you didn't even realize it caught a butterfly? Plus, cat boys have such quick reflexes, our targets never see us coming. Plus, my breed might have something to do with it. I'm a bangle. You thought I might be? Guess you can tell from my appearance, huh? People call us little leopards. Bangles are like the most expensive cat. <laughs> are they? I think so. Yeah, aren't they the ones that kind of look like, uh, like cheetahs or something like that? Yeah. Yeah, you can tell by looking at Sage, he's a high breed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you say you researched different breeds when you heard we'd be coming to work here? Hmm. I'm not little, so I'm more like a big leopard. I guess you could say that. You know, I, I was the really cute tiny kitten, but then I had a growth spurt and got big in no time. It's all about sleeping well and eating well. Have you finished cleaning out here? Whoop, sorry. We were too busy chatting. Uh, what was all with but what was with all that noise inside? Oh, this and that. I have something to discuss with you, so please finish up as soon as you can. Hmm. Wonder what he wants to talk about. <laughs> Where to hide the dead body. Yeah. <laughs> Still went too far this time. <laughs> <laughs> Laurier has slept for his last time. <laughs> um, yeah, you're right. The quicker we finish, the quicker we'll find out. Okay, let's get to it. Oh, another gifted sub to Christina. Thank you, Carla. Woo! Yay. Thank you, Carla, for, for gifting a sub to Christina. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God best <laughs> <laughs> all done good work we just finished up in here too so what did you want to talk about tomorrow i would like to close the cafe for the day and unveil our signature dish our signature, our signature dish. dish our signature dish thanks to your work and her promotional efforts we welcomed a great many customers today since we only just opened, it would usually be no problem to leave the development of a signature dish until later, but in this case... Did you know that a new cafe is about to open its doors in this neighborhood? Huh? I had no idea! Me neither. What they said. Hmm. You didn't know either. How do you know about it, Fennel? It's his restaurant. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Plot twist. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I heard about it from a customer. Apparently, it's opening tomorrow. In order to... Der der yeah. Read. Wes, come on. In order to... Di <laughs> you got this. Differentiate. In order to differentiate ourselves and make our own cafe more competitive, we will need to offer something unique. All right, everybody, take your shirts off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. I guess you can get sandwiches and pasta pretty much everywhere or anywhere. We can still serve those too because we came up with that idea first, and everyone else is a poser. <laughs> but we require something that our customers can only get here. I want us to have a signature dish that can measure up to any competition. Whoa, Brandon, thank you for gifting all those subs. Oh, it'll be worth it. <laughs> <laughs> so many subs. So many subs. Thank you, Brandon. <laughs> Congratulations, A Action Shakespeare and Moonwet and Wapis Fairwebus and Scar White and Drew Shona. <laughs> oh, it's my turn. Oh, okay. <clears throat> but we require something that. Oh, wait. No, wait. Oh, I, I, wait, I said this already. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it 
something they can only get at Quinoa. Hmm. This is a tough one. How about murder? <laughs> you can get killed. <laughs> that's our that's our that's today's special death. <laughs> <sighs> I'm already tired from working. If I try to use my brain, I'll fall asleep in no time. <sighs> Hmm. 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 It's no use. I can't think of anything. Help me, Laurier. <sighs> You're fucking useless, Laurier. <laughs> Yay. Thanks, man. Why don't we all put our heads together? All right, let's do this. Quinoa's special menu. Uh, nothing's coming to mind. Let me go online and see if I can find any good ideas. Huh? For sure I put my phone in my jacket pocket, but it's not there. I must have left it in the cafe. Wait right here, I'll go pick it up. Uh, excuse me. Uh, I, I seem to be lost. Do you think you could tell me how to get to the station? So, go straight up the street, then turn right at the traffic light. <laughs> then keep going straight, and at the next traffic light, take a left. After that, I should be able to see the station up ahead. Thank you, you've been a real help. Yes, I know the way now, but uh, are you perhaps free right now, miss? I was thinking, maybe I could take you to a cafe for a drink? Uh-oh. Actually, I approached you because you're such a pretty lady. <laughs> Sorry for using a lame pickup line on you. Sounds like this guy wants to get his ass kicked. <laughs> Let's do this! Yeah, I know it's quite sudden. What do you say? Hey, buddy. You got business with her? You can take it up with me. Excuse me, but who are you? Her guardian. Actually, it's kind of the other way around, to be honest. Uh? Hmm. They say she's very special to me. Does that make sense? Very special to you? Oh, I see what's going on here. So you have a boyfriend. Oh well. I'm sorry for bothering you. You cool with this? She says she's good, so I think we're done here. Oh, one more thing. Quit trying to pick up women. While uh, drunk. Okay, I'll stop. Whew, what's that? <laughs> You don't need to thank me for coming to your rescue. Sorry. Sorry you had to go through with it. Sorry you had to go through that. No, it's totally fine. Nothing to worry about. Alright, let's head home. What's up? You forgot something too? Whoa, why are you backing away? I'm not gonna hurt you. Oh, the hug? Yeah, I guess it did come out of the blue. Next time I'll give you a warning first. You'll just end up getting nervous about it. I suppose being hugged by a big cat boy like me can do that to a lady. My phone? Yeah, I left it at the cafe. Hmm, you're right. I should be paying attention to where I'm going, not my phone. I'll save it till we're back. Hey, it's me, can I come in? Yo! Junpei. <laughs> What's up, dude? <laughs> What's up, dude? Where should I sit? The sofa? Gotcha. I thought that said gotcha, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I read it. 
got enough space? Good, good. So I did some research on signature di dishes, and it looks like the store's concept is real important too. Like it has to connect to the dish somehow. I guess we can come up with a name for it once we actually have one. But the concept... What is the concept behind Kinwan anyway? King Yu is an old name for sun, and the cafe offers its customers a space that's as warm and comforting as the sun's rays. It's such a nice concept. So, kind of a sunny menu. How about a, a spaghetti bolognese? We can call it Sunny Bolognese. Where does the sun? Where does the sun part come in? Well, the Bolognese kind of it part is kind of red, so it looks a bit like the sun, right? Hmm. Oh, cafes serving spaghetti bolognese all over the place. So, you ju so just renaming it isn't going to make it isn't going to make much of an impression. Uh, Den1002, thank you so much for following. Tonight your star crosses our astrological house. Oh, thank you, Bren, for following as well. <laughs> I just realized I hadn't. <laughs> uh, I, don't I don't think, think I said that. No, yeah. Oh, wait, no, 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 I didn't. No, I don't think you did. You're, you're right. If bolognese was our specialty, we could totally make it our signature dish, but I guess it doesn't work if some... If it's something people can get anywhere. Back to the drawing board. Oh, why don't we start thinking about what we'd want to eat? For me, it'd be grilled fish. But I guess it doesn't really fit our vibe. How about you? The fried fish sandwich your grandpa used to make? Oh? His fish sandwiches were better than anything you could get anywhere else? That's it. You could make his famous fish sandwiches. Oh wow, thank you Wes for gifting a sub. Congratulations, Zoe Wen. <laughs> it's no problem, John. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Have faith in yourself. I know you can do it. I can pitch in, too. I'm pretty good at grilling and frying fish. Tomorrow, tomorrow I'll make you some nice crispy cod. Uh-huh. You just sit back and let me handle it. Okay, guess I'll head back to my room. What's that? You feel bad for not showing me proper hostility. Hospit <laughs> Hospitality. Hospitality, you say. <laughs> well, let me show you guys how that... <laughs> Well, my fave, my fave drink is Japanese tea. I'm not fussy about what kind. Green green tea, genmaika, hojika, it's all good. Hope I pronounced either of those right. That's okay. If you're going to make some, I can... Alright, if you insist, I'll leave you to it. Great! Throw in some Doriaki and it'd be perfect! <laughs> I've already brushed my teeth, so let's save the Doriaki for another time. Thanks for the tea. See you tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. Uh, morning. <clears throat> morning. Morning! Morning! Oh, god damn it. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> we can say it at the Morning. same time. That's cool too. <laughs> you seem sleepy, Laurier. Sage came by really late last night. Oh my god, was Laurier in there the whole time? <laughs> <laughs> Aw, it's nice to see that you two are such good friends. Huh? I don't remember stopping by your room, Laurier. Uh, not my room. Hers. What? You guys were all hanging out in her room? Late into the night? 
If that is true, I should like to hear her side of the story. I see. So you and Sage were discussing ideas for our signature dish. And Laurier was asleep on the bed. You tried to rouse him, but he wouldn't wake up, so you had no choice but to sleep there with him? It's a bed, so of course I'm gonna sleep in it. You did that on the first night, too, didn't you? That explains a lot. From now on, you sleep in your own room, Laurier. Do you understand? <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, nuts. Thank you so much, you Wu, for your donation of two dollars. <laughs> Thank you, these nuts. <laughs> this was the best revelation I could have ever. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <sighs> ah. God damn it, these nuts. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Now then, if we could continue, or if we could move on to the main topic of discussion, I would like each of you to put your signature, put together a signature dish, which I will then grade. All right. Do we have a microwave? Yeah. No, or no Oreos for you. <laughs> Scoring will be, will be based on taste, prep time, and your reasons for choosing that particular item. If I select your your dish to sell in the cafe, it will be added to the menu starting tomorrow. It's so exciting, knowing that something we come up with might go on the menu. I'm going to make omurice doria. How about you guys? A fish sandwich? Sounds delish. It'd be nice if both of ours got picked. Yup, let's do our best. Like I said yesterday, I'll handle the frying. Gotcha. I'll leave the tartar sauce to you. How should we do this? I'll make the white sauce. <laughs> okay, then I'll make the omelette and the chicken fried rice. Alright, nice and golden. Yep, looking good. Laurier, how's that white sauce come? It's just Oreo stuffing. <laughs> <laughs> Stop right there! Hold up a sec. Why are you adding vinegar? Dill, we're trying to create something unique to Kinoan, remember? Um, sure. You can get standard Omurice or Doria at other cafes, but Omurice Doria is kind of unusual. Oh! Whitney Hot Jr., thank you so much for donating. <laughs> My friends don't eat at Weenie Hut Jr. <laughs> you told SpongeBob. <laughs> Weenie Hut General! <laughs> Actually, I was pointing to that one over there. <laughs> Super Weenie Hut General! <laughs> Is mayonnaise an instrument? <laughs> <laughs> no, Patrick, mayonnaise is not an instrument. <laughs> Horseradish is not an instrument either. <laughs> Since it's not complete. God! My throat's so dry from laughing, damn it. <laughs> Sentient PSP go! Alright, somebody's <laughs> messing with me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so I mean, much. John, what... <laughs> John, the developers of this game are messing with you. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to take this long to realize when the first one was D's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Man, PSP okay. Go harkens back to uh, that uh, uh, kind words stream we had. <laughs> Thank you so much, sentient PSP Go. Uh, Do we read this line already? No, no. I'm, I, I'm trying to drink it some water, okay. then I spit it up. <laughs> Since it's not completely original, I remember we talked about trying to mix things up with the flavors. Still... That doesn't have anything to do with adding vinegar, does it? Sure it does. 
They make plain old white sauce at any other restaurant. We need to put our own spin on it. Uh? That sounds like peeing. <laughs> <laughs> That's the secret ingredient. <laughs> and Dill's just like, what? <laughs> Slosh in a load of vinegar, stir in some Japanese seven spice for a subtle kick, then sprinkle in some cheese and voila! Man, this sounds like how I cook. Except less fire. <laughs> you finished with the om you finished with the omelet and the chicken fried rice, right? Pour this over it. No, no way, Jose! It'll ruin the whole thing. <laughs> Amanda hug and kiss. Thank you so much. <laughs> Can I get Amanda hug and kiss? <laughs> Come on, I'm look I'm just looking for Amanda hug and kiss. Can't Maybe talk. lower this your standards. Cold at this point. <laughs> oh man. Uh, <laughs> things are going a bit rough over here, I'm afraid. Want to give my special white sauce a taste? Oh Holy god. Crap. <laughs> Best pickup line ever. <laughs> Don't force your experiment on her. <laughs> Drusona, thank you for the donation. <laughs> oh man. Uh huh. You think it looks good, so we might as well give it a try? Ah, Uzumaki2709, thank you for following. Hey. I guess you're right. It does look like regular white sauce. But... I totally saw him pouring in vinegar and adding spices. Yep, exactly. Those things don't belong in white sauce. Oh! How's it going for you guys? Oh, so you've just finished the tartar sauce. Yeah, I'd love to try it. Yummy. You could serve this all by itself. Would you like a bowl of tartar sauce for lunch? <laughs> Ooh. It could be good as a sandwich spread too. <laughs> Aren't we all busy bees? Hmm? Yeah, I've just finished frying the fish. Hmm? You finished the tartar sauce. Butter the bread, add the fish to one slice, drizzle it, drizzle it with tartar sauce, then put the other slice on top. And we're done. It's nice and tidy, and it looks super yummy. <sighs> Oh, I guess Laurier's fave food is sandwiches. Plus, everyone knows cat boys love fish. Speaking of which, <laughs> speaking of which, you okay with fish still? Remember I said you can't eat it raw. Yup, but it's fine if it's cooked. Hey, maybe you could cut it into quarters so it's easier to eat? Perfect. The tartar sauce is so creamy, it really whets the appetite. It's so good! I could eat this every single day! <sighs> Have you finished preparing your dishes? Yeah, we just served up our fish sandwich. Hmm, it certainly looks delicious. It tastes amazing, too! You should try some too, Fennel. Food always tastes best when it's fresh. How are the two of you doing? Ours is in the oven right now. What? <laughs> um, are you sure you're supposed to bake it? Fear not. I set it to exactly the right temperature. That's not what I'm worried about. Looks like it's done. It's perfectly golden brown. Is that a Doria? Yes, it's like an Oreo. <laughs> except, except said differently. <laughs> no, it's an Omurice Doria. 
This looks delicious too. Please bring your dishes over here so I can score them. Um, you know, maybe you don't need to try ours. Why ever not? I'm pretty sure it's disgusting. Really? It certainly looks like it would be a passing grade. Even if the flavor is slightly off, I'm sure it won't be inedible. Hmm. Slightly off might be kind of optimistic. Fennel doesn't remember the sandwich from the other timeline. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he wiped it from his memory. <laughs> Have some confidence in your creation. <laughs> um, Fennel? Uh, he's gone. Yep, bye. It's totally rude not to eat something when somebody worked real hard on it. And it's a waste of ingredients. He's right, Dill. Come on, let's have Fennel try it. Okay. Uh, is this really a good idea? You're sure it'll be fine? Yeah, it does look yummy, so maybe that'll miraculously make it good too? Nick's definitely doing a really good job playing Dill. Looking at Twitch yep. chat. Let's head on through. First, I'll try the fish sandwich from Sage and the Mistress. Hmm. Oh! The batter is crispy, yet the inside is soft and flaky. And this tartar sauce is truly sublime. Oh man, that sounds good. Each part retains its distinctive texture, and tartar sauce's rich flavor is a perfect complement to the lightness of the fish. Your flavors get a perfect score. How long did it take you to prepare? Fried fish took about 10 minutes. I assume that means the mistress made the tartar sauce? Hmm, so the sauce took around the same time to make as the fish. 15 to 20 minutes would be the ideal prep time, but if you're hovering around the 20 minute mark, that shouldn't be a problem. One more thing. Chucky! <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> One more thing. Please tell me why you chose to make a fish sandwich for your dish. Well, we were thinking about what we'd like to eat ourselves, and she came up with the idea of a fish, fish sandwich. I see. You were inspired by the fish sandwiches your grandfather used to make? Oh, his tartar sauce was so exquisite that customers came by just for that? Was the recipe you used for your tartar sauce perhaps passed on to you by your grandfather? I see. Oh? Even though you copied his re his recipe f to the letter, you feel like yours doesn't measure up? Well, I never had the opportunity to try his version, so I can't comment on that, but your tartar sauce is exquisite. Yup, I'd say it's ready to sell as it is. Have confidence in yourself. Your tartar, your tartar sauce is better than any other item in, on our menu, or anyone else's for that matter. I bet we could even serve it on plain bread. Oh, you blushing? You're so cute. Huh? Wait, what'd I do to deserve your thanks? Me talking about sp spaghetti bolognese reminded you of the tartar sauce? Oh yeah, the thing I said about us being able to put it on the menu if it was our specialty. That's what made you think of it. Hey, so why'd you come up with spaghetti bolognese? You said you were the one talking about what you'd like to eat, right? So I get why she came up with this fish sandwich, but I didn't think you'd be into bolognese, Sage. You're right. It wasn't because I wanted to eat it. I came up with it because of the con came up with it because of the concept of the cafe. 
I see. So that's how it came about. Huh? I don't get it. I guess it I guess because it kind of resembles the sun. Oh right. Kin Wu is an old name for the sun. Uh-huh. I get it now. Perhaps we should put it together. Well, take two. <clears throat> Perhaps we should put together a dish themed around the sun at a later date. Stop by a restaurant for a good delicious sauce. <laughs> good burger was based on reality. <laughs> That's true, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, same thing for like McDonald's secret sauce, right? And the Krabby Patty secret formula. <laughs> <laughs> Now then, it's time to announce the results. Adding together your points for flavor, preparation time, and the reason you chose the dish, you have passed the minimum threshold. The fish sandwich sage and the mistress maid will become a signature dish on our menu. Wait, what about my dish? John, what about <laughs> your dish? <laughs> Congrats! Well done. Oh? It doesn't measure up to what your grandpa made yet, but you're happy you're on the right track, huh? What are we gonna call it? The name is important too, right? Since it was a recipe from your grandfather, you'd like to name it after him? Then how about Grandpa's Fish Sandwich? In the description, we can write that the tartar sauce is based on the recipe passed down to you from your grandfather. We may see some previous customers returning to enjoy their favorite dish again, and since it's a new item, we should bring it in new customers as well. You are preserving the special flavor of a cafe that has been in your family for generations. I think that is the most suitable concept for the dish. Now then, next up is the dish made by Laurier and Dill. Oh boy. Um, <laughs> are you sure you want to eat it? You don't have to. No, I shall sample yours properly too. Hum. Mm. All right. <laughs> and all? Yeah, me out. in trouble. Water. Somebody get water. That was quite an or that was quite the ordeal. I'm so sorry. I thought it might be bad, but I didn't think you'd faint. Just out of curiosity. What did you put in there? Everything. White sauce. Far as I know, there are loads of vinegar and spices in the white sauce. <coughs> uh, are you okay? Yes, I see. So that's what I ingested. It's no wonder it tasted so unpleasant. Oof. But it did leave an impression, right? Indeed it did. But if we start serving this, I don't think we'll see many repeat customers. Your culinary proclivities seem rather destructive, Laurier. So perhaps it would be best if you stuck to a customer service role. There's still tons left over, but we can't exactly eat it, so... I guess it's going in the trash. You'll eat it? But, um... Oh, this is the route where she dies. <laughs> <laughs> She's actually eating it. Hmm. If you close your eyes and swallow it without chewing, it's not so bad. Hmm. Yeah, it's pretty good, huh? A nice, uh, challenging taste. <laughs> challenging. Since you two are eating it, I guess I've got to give it a try, too. Bottoms up. 
Well, it's very uh, unique and kind of maybe almost not bad. I can't believe you're eating that. You guys worked hard on it. If you're not going to eat the rest, I'll take it. You're going to help me out? All right. <laughs> Not much more to go. <laughs> oh, finished. Yeah, you did really well with it too. Sage, <laughs> she fainted too. Oh, I. I don't feel so good either. I won't cook again. I've I heard that same thing from John <laughs> ten years ago. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I guess it's true. You no, know, history does repeat itself. <laughs> Please don't. It was quite the adventure, but we seem to have settled on a signature dish. Starting tomorrow, we will be selling the fish sandwich as the cafe special. And, in celebration of your employment, allow me to present you with these. Some Omurice Doria. Vouchers? Those tickets can be used at the new cafe I told you about. Where the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Let's I'm celebrate by like going to agent. another restaurant. <laughs> when did you have time? Er... <clears throat> When did you find time to go over there? I didn't. I ordered them through the website, and they just arrived. Oh, that's good service. It came with a brochure. Would you like to take a look? Yeah, for sure. Why are we supporting the... the <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. It has photos of both the food and the interior, so it should give you, give you an idea of the atmosphere there. Oh, a matcha parfait with kuzumuchi and amitsu. Say, is this new place a Japanese-style cafe? Yes. It seems they have based their store around the Japanese concept of harmony. They offer guests the choice of a Japanese-style table and chairs, or a tatami floor seats. Since our cafe is Western-style, they probably won't be our direct competitors. However, there is no harm in being wary and doing our research. <laughs> You're so diligent. <sighs> what are you doing over there, Laurier? Don't you want to look at the brochure brochure with us? Ah, uh, I'm good. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. There are too there are too many for the two of us. So why don't we all go together? I'd love to, but it's your prize. Sweets? Yeah, I do like them. Are you sure it's okay for me to come? Uh-huh. Well, if you're really sure, I guess I'll take you up on that. Yeah, I want you to come too. How about you, Fennel? Laurier? I take it you'll be going on our next day off. I am sorry, but I already have plans. Uh, me too. Uh, so I'll pass. Oh well. Looks like it'll just be the three of us. A Japanese-style cafe, huh? I can't wait. Why are we going to another cafe? Welcome, would you care to sit in chairs <laughs> or in the tatami area? <laughs> okay, never mind, I understand now. <laughs> also, I like how Dill's like a, a third wheel. Yeah. Even better, this is the same cafe from Dill's route. Oh, yeah. yeah. What would you two prefer? I don't care either way. Hmm. I suppose I'd pick tatami. 
since it's a Japanese style cafe, you think we should go for the traditional Japanese or the traditional tatami experience? Okay, tatami it is. Okay, now then allow me to show you to your table. <laughs> Set your keys down. Please call for a server when you know what you'd like to order and stuff. Don't keep us waiting. <laughs> <laughs> mm, what should I get? Oh, it says that if you're having trouble choosing, they recommend the matcha parfait. Okay, I'll get one of those. Huh, they have dorayaki too. Decisions, decisions. Regular dorayaki or matcha dorayaki? Uh, I can't choose. What's that? I'm getting the regular dorayaki, so maybe I should get the matcha one? Great idea. <laughs> Looks like we know what we want. So, I'll call the server. Excuse me. One matcha parfait, one dorayaki, and one matcha dorayaki. Okay, so that was one matcha parfait, one dorayaki, and one matcha dorayaki, right? Will that be all? Yeah. Thank you for your order. It should be ready, like, soon. I'll let you know. <laughs> I like that guy. <laughs> uh, here you go. Whoa, that was fast. <laughs> is, that a, is that a magical remote I see in your hand? <laughs> yeah, you seen that movie Click? <laughs> I was the guy that made the whimsical device for Adam Sandler. <laughs> Anyways, enjoy your food. I'm going to snap a pic. Check it out. Doesn't it look yummy? Insta-worthy. Can I take one of your dorayaki? <laughs> Walking on sunshine. Oh my Walking god. Walking on sunshine. <laughs> Thank you for the donation. I'm walking on sunshine. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh my god. Yay! This one came out nicely too. Oh, right. It's gonna melt if I don't hurry and eat it. <laughs> Here goes. Mm, it's so sweet and yummy. You're giving me half your dorayaki? Hmm, isn't my half bigger? Because it's my favorite food? Thanks, you're so sweet. Excuse me. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Could we get an order of warabimochi here, too, please? Of course. Yeah, it's for you. It's made with real bracken starch, so I bet it's tasty as heck. Hop. Mm. Oh. oh, it's so good! Whoa! My bad. You know when something's so delicious that you just have to yell about it? Uh, you're fine. I I see the red bean paste filling, and I can tell how tasty it is without taking a bite. I mean, yours looks good, too, with the jelly cubes and whipped cream on top of all that ice cream. Mm. Yep, the matcha ice cream is really rich. Oh, I bet adding some dorayaki would be better than a cherry on top. Hmm? Yeah, Waraba mochi would be a good topping too, wouldn't it? Yup, yup. That'd be one super luxury parfait. I'm stuffed. I couldn't eat another bite. <laughs> I think he ordered a whole bunch more. <laughs> Maybe I went a little too crazy. What are we doing now? I don't want to go home just yet. Is there somewhere you two would like to go? Nah, I'm good. 
You too. You too? Um, okay then. Mind if I pick a place? Go for it. Thanks. Let's go to that back alley where no one will see. <laughs> yeah, guys, come again and order more food next time. <laughs> Here, this is it. A clothing store. Yep, they DM'd me saying that they would that they had some new stock, so I want to check it out. Why don't you take a look too, Sage? Maybe you could dip your toes into European fashion. Wow, a clothing store that DMs you? Yeah, that's, uh, that's super cool fishy. Uh, I'm comfortable wearing Japanese-style stuff. I appreciate the invitation, but I'll pass. Aw, okay. How about you? You're gonna stay with Sage? Okie dokie, I won't be long, so just wait right here. He cocks a gun. This is a rub! <laughs> 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 You really want to stay with me? It looks like they have women's clothes too. You might find something nice. Hmm. You have plenty of clothes for this season anyway, so you're good. Like I said before, I'm comfortable in Japanese style clothes, so I don't really wear anything else. Hmm? What got me into traditional Japanese fashion? I guess it was when I met this old lady. It's not a very interesting story. You still want to hear it? Well, I suppose we've got time to kill until Dill gets back. Kill and Dill in the same <laughs> sentence. Yes. <laughs> I was on vacation one time when I spotted, spotted this old lady crouching down on the side of the road. I thought she might not be feeling well or something, but she said she was fine. It was just that her get a sandal strap had broken. She told me that she was on her way home and it wasn't far, so I hoisted her up and carried her the rest of the way back. <laughs> yeah, she was surprised by how strong I am too. Anyway, when I got back to her place, it turned out it was a kimono store. Now it wasn't hers, her son was the owner. They were both so nice. The guy gave me a the guy gave me a kimono in return for helping out his mom. He showed me how to put it on properly, too. I still go to them whenever I'm buying a new kimono. One good turn deserves another? <laughs> I think it's normal to help someone who needs it. Hmm? People love that about me, and I must have tons of people who dote on me because of it? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. The old lady still spoils me to this day. When I visit, she always gives me a nice head pet and treats me to a meal. I turned her down when she tried to give me money, though. I think she, I think she thinks of me like a grandson. Her son even says I'm like a son to him. Have you ever worn a kimono? You wore a hakama recently? Oh yeah, you just graduated from college, didn't you? Wish I could have seen you in it. Huh? You still have it at home? I see, I see. So it was fine back then, but since you don't know how to put it on properly, it's been sitting in your clo closet since graduation, ser since the graduation ceremony. I can help with that. <laughs> don't worry, I said they taught me how to put on a kimono, right? The old lady told me how to dress up my girlfriend in a kimono whenever I got one. So, I know how to dress a woman in one, too. I can nice. be a friend. <laughs> Let's go out on the town in our kimono sometime. Hmm, you think you'll stick out like a sore thumb if you go around, go around town dressed in a hakama? Yeah, I guess people usually wear them to graduation ceremonies. How about a regular kimono? I wear one all the time, and I don't think you'd stand out so much if you were with me. All right. I'll buy you a kimono next time I visit their store. The old lady will be so happy. Yeah, she told me I had to get a girlfriend's kimono from them, but then she'd do it cheap for me. Huh? 
What's the problem? Because you're not my girlfriend? And it'll be, it'll be awkward for me to get if I get the wrong idea? Ah, uh, so you're worried about me. You're so sweet. But don't worry, it wouldn't be awkward for me. Huh? Why not? Because you're special to me. A girlfriend can be a girl who's special to you, right? And that means you fit the bill. <clears throat> sorry to keep you guys waiting. I'm so sorry I took so long. Don't sweat it. You get what you wanted? Yup. There was a ton of stuff I wanted, though. I was gonna try it all on and only buy what I really liked, but... Somehow, I ended up buying everything. Uh -huh. I overspent again. Come on, chin up. You got a ton of stuff you wanted. You're right. It's done now, so I'll just have to make sure to be more careful next time. Huh? Your face is all red. You feeling okay? Hmm... I know you're saying you're okay, but you definitely look redder than before. Did something happen between you two? I'm her boyfriend now. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> you don't live on nonchalantly, you just said that. <laughs> nah, -uh, nothing at all, right? Huh? The heck? Why are you hiding behind me? You can't look him right in the eye right now? Sage? You've got it all wrong. I seriously didn't do anything. Eh? Do a BRB break? Why? What's up? Oh, uh, one moment, guys. All right. <laughs> we back. Yay. Yeah. Oh, uh... Uh, oh, thank you. Thank you, Jazz, for gifting a gift sub to Los Beepos. You're gonna sleep in the couch. <laughs> okay. Los That's Beepos fair. is my boy. <laughs> um, Alright, let's get back to it. I think we're almost done. You've got it all wrong. I seriously didn't do anything. Oh. Aha! Uh -huh. So you did do something. No, I didn't. But are you really flustered over that? What's that? Huh? You startled me, tugging on my clothes just now. Huh? You don't want him to say it again because it's too embarrassing? Age? Told you, you've got it all wrong. I just said she's special to me. That's it. He said the S word. <laughs> it's too lewd. <laughs> yep. I've got this figured out. Oh God, Dill, please. Sage, having someone special to you might be kind of like having a girlfriend, but what you're talking about is more like family, right? Yeah, yeah, family. <laughs> a girlfriend is more like. Well, um, there's someone you want to hug and stuff. No problemo. I mean, I definitely want to hug her. What? Hug? How lewd. Uh, I can't believe Sage actually thinks of you as his girlfriend. We agreed we should all try and become her house cats, so I trusted you not to go behind our backs. Go behind your back? Dude, what are you talking about? What am I? Listen, Sage, you're trying to become her house cat before the rest of us, aren't you? Hmm, I still think you're meowing up the wrong tree, bud. I still want all of us to become her house cats. I also said I wanted to hug her. But family members hug, hug one another too, right? 
I think of you like a cute little sister, so of course I want to hug you and spoil you. Um, what about kissing her? Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I get that you're freaking out, but if you pull on my clothes like that, you'll stretch out the fabric, okay? So, are you talking about the kinds of kisses between family members, too? Sure, or, you know, maybe not like family, but like cats? It's totally normal for cats to kiss. True, but she's not a cat. She's a human. It's totally normal for cats and humans to kiss, too. She's making a break for it! Get her! Hey, slow down! <laughs> you don't want to trip and hurt yourself. Gotcha! Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> you really are like a little mouse, huh? Maybe that's why I keep can't keep my paws off you. You and me are going to be best buddies. <laughs> oh. So you've chosen death. <laughs> <laughs> that's it! Wow. No. Wow. We did it. We all survived. We all made it to the end. We made the right choices. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, gallery. Wow, look at all that. There's Baby Laurier. <laughs> There's Super Cool Sage. Wait, is this? They gotta be all of them, right? Well, I guess so. Each of them only got two CGs. Mm hmm. Go to load game real quick. See if there's like a secret ending. Nope. Or what was? Oh no! It oh, got wiped. No. <laughs> Even once you once it's over, it's over. That's it. Like yeah, you're done. <laughs> wow. Well, I'm actually kind of sad. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna miss these guys. Dude, this yeah. is so good. For like a for it was basically like a joke visual novel. It was actually really well made. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that was fun. We should do more stuff like this. Yes, please. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. I mean, more visual novels. Or, we I mean, did find more games. one game on Steam yeah. last week. You know, that uh, incredibly realistic heist game. Yeah. Oh, right. Oh, the Penguin one, right? <laughs> Are you guys up for that maybe next week? I'm down for anything. I just like hanging out with my bros. Yeah, for sure. This yeah. is super fun. Uh, so I guess maybe we'll do more stuff next week. This was uh, this was super great and uh, so many donations and everything too tonight. Thank you so much. Thanks everyone for showing up. That was a lot of fun. Yes, thank yeah, you. Glad everyone. Glad to have you here with us to yeah. uh, indulge in the cat boy shenanigans alongside us. Yeah. Round of applause. Yeah. Clap, 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 clap. We don't have a clap emote. You stink! <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you, you stink! stink. <laughs> <laughs> All the eights. How do we pay? Pachi, pachi. How do we pay the creators to do a sequel to this? I guess. So, we, I guess you should just buy Nekopara, maybe. <laughs> well, also yeah. to be fair, when we were looking this up, we were like, "Oh, okay. It, it was intended as an April Fool's joke." But it launched in July for some reason. That's true. <laughs> and it wasn't yeah. even announced on April Fools. That's true. Well, I mean, it certainly seems to be going viral. I've seen so many people playing it, so who knows? Maybe it'll get like a legitimate sequel. That'd be great. Or maybe like even an entire more cat boys. Yeah, maybe like an entire game, like you know, like the like Nekopara. Don't some of the Nekopara games get like? Sort of dungeon crawly too. Do they? I don't know. I I only know them as erotic visual novels. <laughs> I, yeah, I've never played them. I just know that they genre hop sometimes. Huh. That's kind of surprising. Hmm. Echo Para Persona. I guess it's like a really big game, so I guess there's plenty of room for like parody and stuff. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, we'll plan some more stuff uh, for next. Maybe next week. Uh, it depends on everybody's availability. But I'd definitely love to be able to um, play more games together. And maybe next time we can invite more people. Like, maybe Jazz can join us, too. Yeah! Yes. Or maybe Carla. Fun. Yes. 
Yes. Uh, but uh, yeah, I guess it's a slightly shorter stream this week, but that's okay. Um, does anybody have any uh, maybe closing words or anything they want to say before we end stream? And then we'll go over the schedule, of course, as well. Oh yeah, and all the shoutouts. Definitely follow Wes, at least, on, on Twitch if you like him. He does a lot of cool stuff. I play yeah. video games and I have fun, so... That's all we can hope for. I would for. love to uh, have you in the stream and uh, you can indulge in my own shenanigans. Yeah. Um, I, guess... I don't stream, but maybe someday. Yeah. Maybe someday. <laughs> Pull the magic conch shell, maybe someday. <laughs> <laughs>